How's everyone doing? I'm Leo Beers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are comparing the iPhone X, which I'm currently recording on, versus the new iPhone XS Max. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll be recording some parts of Stockton. I'll be going bowling today, getting stuff in slow-mo. I'll be recording in 4K, 30 frames per second, possibly some 60 frames per second as well. And yeah, we'll go from there, guys. This is the iPhone XS Max in 4K, 30 frames per second. This is the detail challenge of my red Camaro with the iPhone X in 4K, 30 frames per second. Find out how good this video is, how it looks when it's inside Premiere. As you guys can see, the obvious one was the iPhone XS Max. So when people ask me, should I upgrade Leo? My answer is always gonna be yes. I believe Apple hit a home run with this iPhone XS Max. I don't like the, uh, the price, I don't like the name because it is excessively expensive, but it's worth the upgrade in terms of an overall package. Last year, they were very deceitful, right? They pretty much said, okay the iphone x has a bigger screen but in reality when you when i went from the iphone 7 plus to that one it was a smaller phone and i did not appreciate that i didn't like it personally i don't like smaller phones so in my opinion it, it is very well worth the upgrade to the iphone xs max the size matters to me the full screen display it's beautiful high resolution, beautiful colors. And when you guys see the pictures towards the end of the video, a big difference. And the iPhone X is a really good phone. It has a really good camera, but the iPhone XS Max blows it away, especially in low light situations, as you guys saw when I was going through that dark tunnel, big difference. The iPhone X had a lot of grain, lots of noise, you know, and the XS Max thought it was a, a lot brighter. Um, in terms of outside, there isn't a big difference, but you do see the difference in terms of detail. So when it comes to the slow-mo and 240 frames per second, I didn't really like it. Maybe I just shot that uh, once at the bowling alley. I thought it was too like glitchy and just too grainy. Um, so maybe that's where they can improve. But overall, this phone is amazing, guys. I've had it for two days and I'm in love with the phone. I think it's great. It's the phone that we should have had last year in terms of size and just overall package, but I'm okay with it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and stay tuned for my other videos, which will consist of lots of travel vlogs, sports videos, sports topics, sports gambling, all of those topics on this channel. Thank you guys so much for all your support, and see you on the next video.